this the new Hey guys, how's it going? It is Smalls, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the problem with Combat Master. So, we are going to be talking about two main points, the lack of updates, balancing, and then one side point, which is the longevity of the game. This is a game which was considered a Modern Warfare 2019 copy, which released around October of last year, and it actually ended up getting taken down and re-released about a month later. And now, let's talk about the main point that I think is a pretty big problem inside the game, which is the lack of updates. The lack of updates is going to kill this game off because the last time we actually got an in-game update was January of this year. Now don't get me wrong, I feel like the developers could have waited a little bit longer for them to actually release this update or the game itself because like I said earlier, this is the second release of the game because it actually ended up getting taken down for copyright issues very similar to Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2019. But I think the lack of updates is going to kill this game off for the reason that if there's no updates, the community on YouTube is going to end up dying. And I think YouTube is probably one of the best ways to grow a game for a developer. And also, the casual audience also has a place in that area, you know, because they might ask their friends to download this game and they might, and the game is just going to grow even more. Now, let's talk about the YouTube side of things. If there's no updates, a YouTuber that focused on Combat Master just a few months ago, their channel isn't doing well. There's nothing new to make content on, there's many just update videos on the new update for Combat Master that I've seen so far, but if they did base their content off on Combat Master strictly, their channel probably isn't doing well, just due to the fact that there hasn't been any updates and no one's really looking into Combat Master and mainly everyone's in the Discord because they're basically leaking everything that's going to come out in the next update. And for the casual audience, they're getting bored. If you cannot hook in your audience every once in a while, they are going to leave your game. For example, let's talk about Call of Duty Mobile because that was my main game just a few months ago, but that game hooked me in every week. They had weekly updates, but let me just reiterate, the game or the team for Combat Master is a very small team and Activision is a big corporation. I'm just using Call of Duty for example because I played that, but they hooked in players every week and kept me wanting to play even more. I played that game for two years straight. And this game, I only played for like a good few months just because it wasn't interesting enough. And if they didn't delay this update, the last update would have actually come out last March of this year. Don't get me wrong. I would have liked that update, but apparently one of the developers is located in Ukraine and with the conflict going on, it is very difficult to actually develop a game. But the lack of updates is going to kill off this game because if there's no content, no content creator can grow and their game won't grow. And for the casual audience, they need to want to play a game and with no updates, they are not going to want to play the game and probably quit the game. And now let's go on into the second part of this video, which is the longevity of the game. With the lack of updates and all these other issues or the next issue that I'm going to be actually talking about, it's probably going to kill off this game. The longevity of this game doesn't really seem too long. This game basically blew up overnight because it was very similar to Modern Warfare 2019. And if it wasn't a copy, then it probably wouldn't have blown up as much as it did. I don't think this game is anything out of just being a straight ripoff from Call of Duty. So honestly, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I'm sure once they get the hang of things and start releasing more updates, the longevity is just going to increase a little bit more. But I don't think it's going to really grow much out of just being a straight ripoff from Call of Duty. But now let's actually get into the balancing of the game. With the latest update, which released this January, they released the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher, the thermite. Well, the thermite was already in the game, but the rocket launcher, the thermite, and the grenade are all broken. They will kill you instantly because the thermite blows up on impact, the grenade launcher blows up on impact, and there's no hit markers. You die right away if you're anywhere near it. That is not good. One of the reasons I mainly quit Call of Duty Mobile was because of the meta. The meta was in a bad place and I just decided to quit. And I, I had some other points and one of them was just me being bored of the game for playing it two years straight. But the balancing has to get reworked. I honestly could have been okay with the developers waiting a few more months, maybe one or two more months for them to actually balance everything, add new things for the game to have a major update and have a bigger comeback than it did. The second release of the game was basically the same as the first. They just did some minor UI changes so they don't get taken down again. And honestly, I don't know what this game is going to do. The developers are kind of 
working at it slow because the VR update is actually taking quite a bit. Don't get me wrong, this game is pretty fun in short bursts. I can really only play it for 10 to 30 minutes, not really longer than that. They also had some new guns in January's update, but it really didn't interest me that much. It was just a new gun. They're basically following the strategy or the formula that Call of Duty Mobile had that they released a new gun every season, one or two guns every season. So it wasn't really interesting to me because I was already used to Call of Duty Mobile. Nothing was interesting, nothing was hooking me in to play the game. Everything is just all right. I think the movement is really fun and I think that's the reason why I kind of just still play the game. I don't know. Is this game gonna survive with the newer competition of Apex Legends, Call of Duty actually stepping up their game in Call of Duty Mobile, Rainbow Six, Battlefield Mobile is coming out too. I don't know if it's gonna release this year, but many big games are coming out and I don't know if this game is gonna survive. Now you guys let me know if you guys think it will survive with all these new big games coming out down in the comments below. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Show me y'all with it. I style hey, teeth. She loves when hey, I'm grinning. Hey, you know I'ma tell you what to do. Hey.